Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys returning, for those of you guys that are new, hello, my name is Pinky, welcome to my channel. We're going to be looking into this month of October 2022. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing amazing, Taurus. I hope you guys are as excited and as ecstatic as I am for this is my favorite time of the year. So, I am curious to know how you guys celebrate Hallow's Eve or if in fact you celebrate it at all. If you do, definitely comment below. Let me know what your celebrations are. I am very interested. It is a very important month for us, us witches, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. All right, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, and Archangels, what are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of October 2022? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Now, in regards to your earthly position here with finances and career, we have the death card. So for some of you guys, there is a lot of transformation that's happening. I feel like a lot of you guys have been dealing with uh, almost a feeling of like things being thrown at you from left field, um, a bit of chaotic energy, not necessarily negative. Um, it just feels like there is... It's time for a change, and I feel like you guys have been feeling this for quite a while. The death card is definitely symbolizing that there is transformation. There is an ending cycle that is happening in regards to your career and finances, and what they're leading me here to tell you guys, to advise you, is that it's going to be very important for this month for you guys to be sharp in the way you express or communicate at work. Uh, so no more biting your tongue, no more holding back. Speak freely uh, so that they can be able to help you and assist you in being able to allow them to see you uh, in a more authoritative position or taking on more responsibilities. As you guys know, taking more responsibilities means bigger pay. So what they're telling you here is that whatever you've been doing up until now in regards to your finances and career, it's time to step it up because there is a major change that's happening. Now, in regards to the element of air and how you communicate, we have the three of swords. So somebody may be coming to you this month of October needing some type of emotional support. For some of you guys, this could be um, lending a shoulder to cry on for a friend or family member, someone that is currently or currently will be going through some type of separation as we do have the death card and three of swords now for some of you guys this can also represent for you there is a culmination there is an ending to a cycle of hurt perhaps you've been trying to fix or heal some type of connection some type of relationship whether you're ready or not at this point with the death card taurus endings are going to be unfolding at the forefront so whatever it is that is unfolding, that you are aware that it's come to a culmination, it's come to an end, don't try to hold on to that. It's time to let go completely and open yourself up to new beginnings. Um, there is a bit of stagnation energy here, and it's almost like a fresh or a breath of fresh air that is coming in. But in order to be able to experience that, you, you, you cannot keep holding on to what is no longer working for you. Now, with the element of fire here, the challenge is the seven of pentacles. So, my dearest Taurus, if you guys are dealing with a situation where there's been a separation or a breakup, and it's something of a habit, like it's happened more than twice, um, the challenge here is letting go of your perception of what the relationship was in the past because that is no longer what it is. So it's almost like in the beginning stages of a relationship, everything is beautiful and everything is great. When people start to show us their true colors, we try to hope or wish that things are going to change or they're going to get better. And what they're telling you here is that the wanting to hold on to what has come to an end has a lot to do with the fact of reminiscing about the past or hoping that the person that you fell for or the person in the past will eventually show up again. And what Spirit is telling you, this is your challenge for this month. Let go of things from the past, things that are no longer working, 
things that are or have been potentially hurtful and very painful for you to get through. It's time to fully embrace a new beginning. Now, when we're talking about the element of water, emotions, we have the three of pentacles here. So again, rely on your friends or for some of you guys, it could be that there is a relative, a family member, someone that you hold very dear that may be going through some type of turbulent situation in regards to partnerships. There could be an ending or a breakup, some type of separation, um, and they're really going to be relying on you, mostly emotional. So again, try to be patient with them and try to guide them the best you can, giving them genuine advice. Three of Pentacles here does indicate working or being able to get through something, working together in a collaboration or in a group. So again, if this is you that is going through this Taurus, try to rely on your friends or people that you love and trust. They will help you get through this. You're not alone. Now, let's see what Spirit's final message is here for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the final message here for Taurus for this month of October 2022? All right. And we have happy family here. So again, I feel like family and your support system is going to be very important for this month. Um, this could be you going through this, uh, through this cycle, right? And I feel like this cycle has a lot to do with purging yourself uh, from, you know, like I said, toxic connections or relationships or uh, ending cycles, uh, putting a, basically closing a cycle um, and really relying on family and your support system to help you get through this which you will Taurus and if this is you that is going to be lending your shoulder to cry on on someone you love and care for um, really giving them that 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 love even if it's as simplistic as just hearing them out allowing them to vent is going to be very healing for them all right my lovelies okay I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon till then bye bye